Hi, it's Deanna, and I just want to show you this really, really outrageously cool antique photo album sometime between the Civil War and just after the Civil War. And uh, so you can see this book. Look how ornate it is. The pattern is just really exquisite. And it's not a very big album. This was like a travel-sized album. So there wasn't that many pages in it. And some gentleman, most likely, would place this in his vest pocket and take it along with him. And this is really cool. So we see it says photograph album with this beautiful cartouche going around it. And it says Philadelphia uh, Miller and Burlock. And if you look over here on the left hand corner, it says 75 cents. So this album cost somebody 75 cents back then, which was equivalent to roughly about between 20 and $25. Now back then, $1 was equivalent to around $30. So one dollar was worth a heck of a lot of money back then to people. So index, and it was not filled in. That's a bummer. So the first photo is like the coolest of all. So this is actually a very, very, very famous, famous family. And I don't know if you guys know who P.T. Barnum was, but he was the creator of The Freak Show or the circus and so he's known for Ling ringland brothers and barnum and bailey circus and so his saying was a sucker is born every minute and basically what he did was recruited people that had oddities or some kind of freak of nature type of aspect and so this group of people are freaks and well they had um he made sideshows showing off these type of people and people would pay a lot of money to go see his shows and that's how he became a millionaire. <laughs> so on the left, we have General Tom Thumb, who was a midget, his wife, who was also a midget, and I believe her name was Lavinia or Lavonia, and their baby. And that's really, really cool to have this old photo. So now the next uh, set of photos is on the left, we have a Civil War couple, and their cheeks were tinted. Now, that's unusual because that was much more expensive to get the photos hand-tinted because they didn't have color photos back then. And generally, the hand-tinting would cost sometimes more than the actual photograph. So you couldn't be really that poor to have that done by the photographer. Next, we have a little baby. And if you look closely, we have hand-tinting. If you look at the bows on her shoulder, it was tinted by hand, actually with watercolor. And that's really, really awesome. Now, these two sets of photos are outrageously amazing for the time. So in this era, about 1860s or just after the Civil War, we have these hand-tinted tablecloths in both picture. And he has a colored bow tie. Now, you see it's pink. The funny part was during the Victorian era, pink was actually a masculine color and mothers would dress their little boys in pink dresses and dress their daughters in blue dresses. Blue was considered feminine. So now we have a total flip of that in today's time. And this was very, very costly to do. And you can see the skill of the photographer. He did a fantastic job of coloring these tablecloths. Look how amazing and crisp the pattern is. Now look at her dress and you can see her bow tie and the pattern is like a really nice checkered pattern. Now, do you notice something very familiar? The little girl on the left uh, hand side here is wearing the same dress as the lady in the previous picture. So I believe that that's her daughter and she made the same dress for her daughter as herself. And there we go. We have that tablecloth again that's hand tinted with watercolors, which is quite spectacular. 
for this time frame because it almost makes the photo look like a color photo. You have this gentleman over here, probably around the 18, just about the turn of the 1870s. Now we have a tintype on the left. And a tintype is actually not made out of tin. It was a photograph that was developed on blackened and painted iron. So they painted the, the uh, so one side of the iron um, black so the photo could be seen. So that's pretty cool. So we see a Civil War era couple, tinted cheeks as well. And over here, we see around the same time frame or just after the Civil War, and that's a CDV photo. It was developed on paper. So now we have 1870s photos. And look at this really interesting pattern. It's like a stone pattern and then a vignette in the center. And it's the same person. And if you look, the bow in her hair is tinted blue. Again, that was a masculine color for a girl. I mean, a, f a feminine color. Yep, how things have changed. And last but not least, we have this 1860s photograph. And it's a CDV photo. It's very hard to focus. I'm trying to get my, my camera to pick up the light here. Here we go. And that's all. So this was a very, very uh, small book. And again, it was a travel size book to be carried around. And I thought you guys would enjoy it. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe.